So sometimes when you're using the alcohol lamps for casting, you might need to refill them because you can see this alcohol lamp is empty. So I'm just going to unscrew the top um, and it has enough of a wick right now. Um, but I am going to show you really quickly just how to replace it because when the wick gets really, really tiny, it doesn't um, allow the alcohol to go up and actually light what's on there. So I'm going to take this wick out and I'm going to take the taped side of the wick and I'm going to put it through the um, hole that's at the top. And I'm going to make sure that I like fray this end, even though it was already frayed, I'm going to fray it a little bit more so that it doesn't want to pull through this other side of the wick. And I do need to be careful because I could pull it right through, but I'm going to be um, really gentle with that. I'm going to lay that down and put in a um, funnel in the top of my alcohol lamp. And then I'm going to very carefully pour alcohol into this lamp until it's about two thirds of the way full or a little bit more. And I notice how I'm pouring really slowly so that I don't get any alcohol on the table. As soon as I was done pouring the alcohol, I also put the lid back on and I'm going to very quickly put this um, wick and the top back on my lamp, okay? And then I would actually, if I'm gonna use it right away, I wanna make sure that I can feel, it's gonna feel wet as the alcohol comes down onto my wick. So here you can see my fingers are a little bit wet. Um, and alcohol does evaporate pretty quickly. Um, you do need to be careful, as I tipped that, I got a little bit onto the table. I should wipe this up with a paper towel right away to make sure that I don't accidentally set the table on fire. Um, notice I also put the top back on the alcohol lamp because I'm trying to preserve the alcohol. And because alcohol evaporates so quickly, we wanna make sure that we put the tops on every day and put them back on the cart so that we can always use them when we're in class.